Hey, you guys. Hi, we're going to podcast, you we're gonna guys. We're going to podcast. Thanks for coming to the Hashtag I Mom So Hard podcast. I, if it, just, just so that you know, we were basically podcasting and we weren't recording just right. now because we're just, these are just conversations that we have. Yeah. And we sit across from each other, which is nice because in the playroom videos, we sit next to each other. Yeah. So now we sit across from each other and it's very much like a therapy session. I, <laughs> if it's up to Jen, it's you know a therapy what? session. I actually read this thing that it's better to sit next to somebody Like if the reason like you have all these deep conversations in the car, especially with men and why, okay, because when we were cave people. It's my favorite reference as to how this all happened evolutionarily. When we were cave people, if you were like tete to tete, you know, if you were head to head, eye eye contact, that's a predatorial thing. And men are so like into. They feel like you're, they're not going to be vulnerable Yes. As much I They let their guard down. Somebody being next to you means they trust you. That's why men like go to a game together. Yeah. And and they, at war, you know, they're next to each other. They're not, you know, so. I think it's because they secretly kind of want to kiss each other, but they just feel weird about it. So they don't look I know. They've been told for a long time not to kiss, but they want to. They kind of want to hold it. You know what? They They wrestle because they want to kiss. Yeah. They, and they, they want to kiss. And they do feel like they shouldn't, so they just touch butts a lot. Yeah, and they grab just each other's nuts. Grab each other's, do the do the flick of the like. Yep. Uh, they, wiener, they do the tap shot. tap. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, you know what we do? We just hold hands and kiss. So like, like yeah. women are like, they've got it figured out, but men are like, I oh, can't. This feels too weird because yeah. it feels great. But sometimes I will just walk up and smack Kristen in the boobs. Yeah, that makes me laugh really hard. Like a throwing. Yep. Or I give you a credit card swipe. Whoop. Up yep. here. Up, up your cheeks. Hole. That's my yeah. favorite. Yeah. And it should be like that because that means that you have love in your life. That's right. But we're looking at each other right now. <laughs> we're and lost we, in each other's eyes. We are. And we have these really ridiculous, like we're landing plane headphones on. You know I love these. They make me feel very official. I, they, they, I feel like I'm about to like do it, be a sports announcer. This is my favorite thing. She, okay, we've got. She's Liz Lemon on, the, on 30 Rock right yeah, now. Yeah. Oh my God. Head. Hello. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sold. <laughs> Sold. We're talking about, uh, well, this isn't the topic of the show, but this is what you happened yeah. into was Kristen's learning guitar, you guys. Yeah, I'm having, uh, listen, here's what I think. I think uh, everybody's allowed to have a midlife crisis, and I think that you can have one How and it dare be you? positive. Yeah. Well, Jen's having her birthday, and although she is not m- midlife what, yet. What are you smiling for? <laughs> I will I'm punch that sick. smile. Right <laughs> off her I'm not looking at you. I'm want to feel like I'm in a safe space and I'm not going to get I mean, murdered. Here, let's say it's side, we're sideways. turning to the side so that we're yeah, say, we trust perhaps each other. Jen has dipped her toe into a midlife situation. I'm not saying she has. I'm mm. saying it's her birthday and perhaps she is getting in involved in a okay. midlife situation well let me say that in the 80s this would have been considered a midlife situation because everybody did coke and smoked yeah but i absolutely plan on living to be like 108 110 yeah. so I it's think not a midlife not crisis anywhere near can midlife. be a good thing i think yeah. when women have a midlife crisis they want to better themselves when yeah. men have a midlife crisis they buy a stupid car and they want to bang 22 year olds and they yeah. have to buy medicine for their wiener so they, like they put a little uh oh, just for men in their hair yeah and and I get, you know what, when I see a guy trying that hard, I'm like, hey man, it, I, I get it. Like there is like this struggle to maintain like what you f- feel like being young is, but I think that the most important thing is to constantly feel like you got more to show. Like you, you haven't, what do you always say? Yeah. Like we haven't done our biggest thing yet. Yeah. Are we, like it's like, if you oftentimes when we talk about comedy, ooh, I'm just going to get distracted with my ADD and oh, talk about Jen's nails. They look so cute. I did cute. them yesterday. Yeah, they look. There's glitter they in them. They are very fancy. This, sometimes I do, I'll, I'll pick my nail polish color entirely based on whether my grandmother would like it. And that's, that's a what very I did. grandma-centric she, color. Yeah. She, it's anything, almost a mauve, which I didn't know we were back into there. I, I don't know if we are. 80s. I wanted to get like a lavender. It's so cute. No, no, no. This and is they were very out of it. like. And so I got this one. Call back to your grandma. Totally. She was anything like purple. Well, and she's she a perfect example. Like I think when <clears throat> when we age, obviously there's things that sort of tell you you are a different age than you were. Like for for me, when I go to like a hard workout class and I'm dying and like I realize if I were 20 years younger, this wouldn't be as hard. I wouldn't yeah. have as much. Like I'm taking ibuprofen preventatively. Like I have a hangover and it lasts eight days. Like <laughs> I, I, you know, I have. 
I literally drink a glass of red wine, and the next day I'm like, oh, my acid reflux. So Kristen and I are going to go to a resort for our first, literally, first if ever. you can believe this, first ever girls trip. Girls trip. The, in 10 ever. years. Ever since, well, I mean, we haven't been on one before. Kids. Together, without yeah. kids, without doing a show, without yeah. work, just to get away ever we're in we're sh- we've got her in a leo trifecta i, I we're going am a sagittarius th- and yep. sagittarians and leos make for the best friendship we're going leo 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 i know so, and i'm a sag i'm hoping that you know you can get a word in edgewise no when- i'm absolutely going to be all y'all's running girl i will go do whatever you need me to do you're going to boss me around. It's going to be great. We, we, there's going to be three team captains. Yeah. And me just doing sprints. For the first time in my life, I will have to make no decisions. I will just be, I'll be like, okay, I'll get us more drinks. Okay, I'll get us an app. Whatever, whatever anybody wants. It's going to be great. That It's funny because the, <clears throat> the three Leos that are there are Leos in very different ways that I think is really funny, which is why I probably get along with them well, which is where it's like, we should if I were to say like we should go to Red Lobster for dinner both of them would be like uh huh that's a great idea you know what another great idea is this other place that I found so let's all talk about like they're, and then everybody they're, would get their phones and they're like let me check the website let yeah. me see what the Yelp reviews yeah, they're, are they're really nice bossy people yeah they're really nice bossy <laughs> the most people most congenial bossy people yeah ever. I just have an emotional reaction to anything that I'm like against like Jen <laughs> wanted to put uh, can't even talk about it. You guys, I just got a new guitar. I want to monogram it, you guys. She wanted to put a fucking craft K on it. Yeah. She wanted to put a K on my guitar. Like a real... My sp- brand new guitar. I don't see what's wrong with it, because I could probably get one that would come off, and it would be pink and sparkly, no. and it'd be like Laverne no. kind of writing. Put it on the case. I barely am okay with that. Don't no, touch it. No, that's a soft case. Don't I, touch it. It wouldn't last. But I, I, now Stay I do. Stay in your lane. I am going to get you like a, I'm going to have some mom make you a guitar strap that's Fine. got your name on that it. That would be very cool. And then I mom so hard guitar looking, strap. Gonna, and then I would just cry the whole time because I'd be so touched. But, but what if we put it on the body part, like the side I'm part going to kill you. If you touch that guitar with any of your crafting crap, I will, I will literally lose my mind. I will have a fit. Just mm. so you know. I believe that. Okay. Okay. Back to Leo's. How they're bossy, but nice. Okay. Here's, an- <laughs> here's another Leo. Here's another Leo is that my... <laughs> okay. Uh, my father-in-law, Leo. Husband. Husband, Leo. My sister. Your si- yeah, her birthday's yesterday, yeah. right? Leo. Okay. Happy birthday, Megan. I forgot Megan. to tell her happy birthday. Oh. Um, so my father-in-law, Kristen, has a big crush oh, on him. Not unattractive. Uh, they're moving, and so... Lexi sent all of this stuff like from their house yeah. to Brit and one of them was him being on the cover of like Westchester magazine. Um, is that running. the one with him on the beach? Because I was nope. like, oh, no, no, that was him on, in, in Greece. I look at too many oh, pictures yeah. of your father. Like, <laughs> I have never seen this photo. Oh God, no, that yeah. one. Ooh. He does look oh, really cute. Jiminy. I was like, oh, so he's how like, creepy is this? I just Bridgerton myself. It's fine. You know what? He invites it because uh, anytime you're around or my friend Laura's around, he's like, "Oh, a brunette with yeah." Light he, eyes. he completely like yeah. called me one time when you guys were all together, and he was like, "You know, I've got a motorcycle." And I was like, "Quit it!" Yeah, <laughs> he is the biggest flirt in the world. But so he's there's this picture of him like forty. He's forty. Don't drink that candle. I know. Yeah, drink this beer. Drink the beer. But to. I keep got, picking up your rear candle holder and a light and a. Hold on. Hear this. Here it is. Yeah. Although she, this is what she really got I her nose really turned up, up that dr- Coors Light no, that I first handed her. No, this is outdoor fair. Yeah. That you know this is my lucky drink when I'm at a casino is Coors Light. Guys, how much? How many tangents can we go on? Okay, we're gonna make it full the, circle. I'm gonna tie it back. I'm gonna tie it back. So I gotta have Casey go get this magazine that's on the the kitchen counter later. I'll show. Well, no, we we'll should put show it on for the, the podcast end. Instagram. You know what? Let's hot put it on flash. The- He'll be our hot flash. Oh, God. Now I'm going to be yep. weird about it. Because, okay, so Talk it's him when he's time. like 40, black mustache, totally white hair. Yeah. He he, he went white so early. It Did he also- start to gray? Like, because my uncle's all gray and he started going gray at 18. Yeah. Came back from Vietnam, was 100% gray. Has been. Interesting. And stress will do that, actually. Uh, I've heard that. That traumatic like breaks my heart. Stuff. I know. Yeah. So, and he was a, he was a fighter pilot in Vietnam. So maybe, yeah. I don't know, but. Brit, well, your husband is. Brit is summer. gray, and his is obviously from me. Like, yeah. no, he was gray when I when I met him. He thinks was he, he was. He thinks he was blonde. He's I def- remember him 
being blonde for what feels like one minute Mm -hmm. because I when his hair is dirty it looks kind of blonde I remember when you guys met and I had in inadvertently met him yeah earlier that day at an audition (laughs) and I knew that you were talking about that I remembered his name too because I was like that's a interesting name. Yeah. Like Brit. Like who names their kid Brittany? I'm per, I'm sure so during the Brittany. audition I was in my head like, who? What name is that? Oh, what is that? Is that Britain? Like England line? What? <laughs> Man, why do you look confused? Yeah. They're like you're really smelling you're- something bad right now. I'm like, nope. Doing math. Doing math in my brain. But he was. Uh, I remember he had blonde hair, and then it was like the next day he was gray. So at your wedding, you were he was blonde. He's was he? Mm-hmm. I think it depends on the light. He does have some dark in there, but so our son keeps telling him he wants him to dye his hair. And I'm like... <laughs> I would cry. I would laugh so hard. I would laugh so hard. I kind of want to... You know, he loves a joke. I, I don't want him to like make himself into a joke, but I think it would be really funny to see him like... Okay, I derailed you. Kinda... You were talking about your father-in-law going gray and he had a black mustache. He's in, in a Ventura magazine. Or, he, uh... he, they he they lived in Westchester. When okay. He, so it's like this real like bougie magazine that's like getting people into running or something like that. This episode or this edition of the magazine is, and he is. It says on there that he runs ten miles a week, and he was furious because he runs ten miles a day. He runs hundred miles a week. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was a marathon runner, so it was. But I'm going to show it to you. It's adorable. It, it doesn't not relate because I feel like if my husband were having a midlife crisis, then he would dye his hair because guys do that. I mean, women get to do I, it. And it's I no suppose, big deal. I, you know, I can see why people have this quote unquote, well, that is not me tooting. That is the chair. That is the chair. I, know, I was going to say like loss of bodily control. Is that happening? And I can't control it anymore. Because that's funny if I was just sitting here tooting as I was talking about midlife crisis. Yeah. <laughs> Everything I, else works fine. It's just your sphincter Yeah, it's just out. my sphincter. If that, if that was it, I'd be fine with it. Like, yeah. if that was the only thing that gave out, I'd yeah. be like, all right, I can deal with that. I feel like you could get that fixed, too. You, or just wear tight pants. Like, I would just button it up. But I do feel <laughs> you like went somewhere. Honestly, you want to know where I went? Yeah. I don't want to bring us on another tangent, but I had so much detox tea last night oh. that I had a nightmare about crapping my pants. Are you going to go poop right now? No. Okay. I wish. I'll yeah. get up and go She's because real backed up. I'm really like... It's going to explode on the girls' trip. You're going to be so relaxed having a cocktail and then it's... But it doesn't matter because you'll be it's not the on pool. the plane. <laughs> yeah. Well. That, on that crappy little plane that like we're going to puddle jump into... They better we not hit- take my good... I'm so sorry. That is my husband calling... <laughs> We hit a bit of turbulence, um, but evidently it's just a woman back in 16B. Hold on. Who took too much detox tea. Hi, Colin. You are on the podcast and on speaker. Hey, QQQR. <laughs> from Studio City. Okay, bit, Bits. Bits, not welcome. What can I do bits. you for? I could do this all day long, by the way. Okay, I know, babe, but what do you need? I was just double checking your schedule because um, I, I was confused. I thought you were podcasting here and you weren't here, so I didn't know what happened to you. So that's what I was calling about. Okay, we're doing. I thought you might have gotten bucked from a horse or something. Nope, not yet. Hey, Colin, are you at an aviary? Because there's a <laughs> lot of birds around you. Oh no, my kids are uh, watching um, a Snow White. <laughs> oh. Yeah, scary. Colin, quick question: If you were if you were having a midlife crisis, what would what would you do? That's a great question. Um, I've already known people who have gotten tattoos in the midlife crisis. Oh, obviously, cars are really cliche. Um, I don't know. Uh, Come on, man, make it give us. No, it's great. He hasn't thought about it. That's wonderful. He will not go through a midlife crisis. He's just been in crisis he since seem he was eighteen. Like- <laughs> He doesn't seem like... He does not have a midlife crisis. He's like, life passes by and then we die. Do you want a different girlfriend? I just want to be alone. Okay. (laughs) Goodbye. Love you. I don't, I'm not having a midlife crisis that I'm worried about death because that is my literal number one fear. I'm having. You've been having that forever. 
Yeah, this, it's literally the thing that I want to talk about the least is the end of life. Like, I start thinking about it. I, I literally just got super hot now. Yeah. I'm freaking out. My bigger thing is, like, I just want to, like, thread the needle between now and when life starts to get harder because of age and, like, not stop myself from trying new things because I feel like I can't do it or my brain doesn't work mm-hmm. as well. And that's that's why, like, all of a sudden I've had this, like... <laughs> I'm fully in it. Like, got my hair cut. I'm trying to look more like a rocker instead of like, I just want to feel different than I have. And I started riding horses and I'm at the horse stables and I've started playing the guitar simply. To, God bless. Stop texting me. Now you know well, he's texting me. It sounds like you're just becoming Dan Fogelberg. That's <laughs> what it sounds like, Kristen. I think I'm going through something. I don't want to quit the guitar I'm ever. Good I'm obsessed. There have been fishes in the, the ocean. ocean. Now you learn that to play sounds that? old. No. I, I want to learn how to play tw- Taylor Swift. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Not that song, which is an old person song. Hey, how dare you? You have some old people tastes that I, I'm not into. Since day one. Yep. Since day one. I, I am not... I am. I have no shame about that. No, you no, guys. no. You're I've, gonna bridge into the next level, like so ready. You're gonna be the only person I know that's like, bring out the windsuits, you guys. They've yes. been hanging up, waiting to be worn. Uh, I need a big, large brimmed hat. Are you kidding me? I so I, I too have like started doing some things because when you do start to notice that you're getting older you go one of two ways. You like give into it or you do fight it a little bit, and you can fight it with like. A little bit of like, I don't know, I hate the word class because that's not fair really well, either. I, like, I agree with you though because it's like, what's the fight? What are you going to do? Like you go in and you can't, you can't buy it back. You can't get it back. So no, you've got to like start now. Well, if there were a way, I would. A hundred percent. Yeah. But I've, I definitely feel like I want to stave off the feeling of being old for right. a long time. So I think probably now I'm in better shape than I've ever been, like a stronger, yeah. like physically, and I want that to keep going. Like, yeah, because you don't want to be like wrecked in your later years. But I, no. I'm i living in the here and now, man. I'm like, the second I stop thinking that I can do something, my dad has an expression like, don't let the old man in. Like Ooh. the second I stop thinking that I can't learn something or like surprise myself then I'm done it doesn't matter how old I am if I feel like I can't surprise myself then it's all over for me that's why it's got to be that way for me that's why I'm like like we we're really excited we're going back on tour and I really love our show I really do I think it's really fun it's really funny I think there's so it's a lot of freaking work and it's it's such good I think it's so good for your brain. Like I always say, like it doesn't matter where you are. If there's an open mic somewhere, go try stand up comedy. Do something to surprise yourself because it won't yeah. kill you. And don't do anything that will kill you. Like well, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not riding a bucking bull. I'm not going into rodeo. I know that will kill me. But I am going to take riding lessons because horses make me feel like I'm next to God. Like I want more of that. I want more outdoor yeah. life I want more music I want to feel a little bit rock and roll and also it makes me feel fucking cool when I carry my <coughs> guitar that I can only play five chords on sorry I just coughed it's oh not... boy here we go speaking of you want a lozenge no you I don't want a lozenge I will though as soon as I get like because I read this article about this woman that was like 114 or something she lived in France and when she turned 80 or something she yeah. started smoking again which I I can think is baller yeah you're like hey man i made it this far I i'm already past the statistic i'm not help i'm literally going against what they're yeah. trying to teach she's like well i probably got a couple years left flash forward to a whole prison life sentence yeah <laughs> she's like, like what am i still doing here did these help yeah like, what, have I done? what do i do now yeah heroin what am i gonna yeah. like say whatever gonna do you want harder? at that point point. and that's what i think about like that maybe you i this is the way that i feel is I care a little less what people think and I want to like who I am and what I'm doing more. Yeah. Like I fucking love holiday decorations to a fault and I, my husband is like, we are going to need to build on a wing to store these. Which would like, be your dream? Honestly, it would. I would brag about, I'm going to get one of those things, you know, those like little, 
you know, sheds that you put in the back, your backyard. Yeah, she should. She sh- but it's just going to be I holiday. feel like it'll have like hydraulics and it'll be like, bring up the second floor. It'll be like one of those fancy like oh car collector kits, yes. but it'll be like, we're in the autumn genre. Can yeah. we bring up that floor, please? Yep. I, I want that. So it, I have like it, four pumpkins and I'm like, uh, just just put them up there. They'll be it good makes for me five ha- seasons. It's old lady-ish. I get it. But when I was getting my nails done the other day, it was like three of us in the nail salon and one of them was a... Uh, this like 80 year old lady who had her hair dyed totally red. She was getting like the longest God bless her. nails you've Get ever it, seen girl. in your life. And then her pool guy called and she couldn't hear him unless he was on the loudest level of speakerphone <laughs> ever. And I was dying laughing. Two people went up to her to tell her like, you can't, you're bothering everybody talking oh. to your pool guy. And she could not hear them. And yeah. I was like, Get Hi, it, man. girl. You live your life. You, live, you, you, you do. You're you. too old to care, man. You got to, you, you, don't I care. think I'm going to be the saltiest old lady and I'm going to be fine with it. I kind of want everyone to be like, don't go by Lady Lady Hensley's house. Yeah. She'll swat you with a broom. And then they just have me, I miss, they've like misjudged me and then I end up being super awesome and yeah. I have a great you garden. You save the town and yeah, stuff? Yeah, I save the yeah. town. I have, I'm writing it out. I'm writing it out. I'm just You're going for Boo Bradley? Is yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 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 your- well, no, I would like to go for Boo Bradley. I'm going to have a boob job that's going to be fantastic boob bradley i'm gonna go boob bradley okay got you know, it yeah just That's, like i just want to be like i'm gonna be like you think i'm a crypt keeper but i'm really hot uh case in point what? martha stewart holy bananas i didn't you, know she's 80. 80 years old and she i think she looks better now than she did like 15 years ago well what's she yeah. doing she's got to well, deal with the devil got, you listen, know it. I did see like Jennifer Lopez too. Like she's on this yacht. She's like showing off her bod. I did appreciate. I saw this doctor who did a TikTok and he did a side by side, and it was a friendly reminder that he was like, "Do you know what? How she's got this body? It's not natural. It's, it's she's money. got help. Yeah, she's money. got money. Yeah, and it's her full time job. Here's whoops. I sounds like I'm tooting. I'm not. Oh, I really did think that it, was a listen. Fart. It's not. Mine okay. are basier. So those chairs, mm-hmm. I. And redid the dining room a little bit, and I they used to rattle, and I had Brit tight now, well, so maybe they're what, too tight. I don't know. I don't know, but I I think we all need to play. Is that Kristen Tooting or the chair? Because I can. I know where I'm putting my money. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can I say? What can I say? <laughs> I I hope for us. I I think one of the greatest parts about doing I Mom So Hard is that you and I always get to be sort of like creatively stimulated, and that's. I would imagine if you're you're living somewhere in the Midwest in a small town, like it might feel hard to ha- to find that. And I'm not. I I'm from there. Like I'm yeah. from a small country town, and so I often think about like what would it be like if I were still in Central City and I had this like ache to do something creative. And I just feel like there's a lot of opportunity out there, especially with the advent of iMovie and your phone or TikTok, or even if you go past that, like self-publishing a book or doing stand-up at a nearby yeah. town, like there's always something to be done. It's just whether or not you want to take that risk. And risk is so scary. Yeah. Like it's on anything. If yeah. going in and asking for a promotion or it's yeah. deciding to put your jewelry on Etsy or going to, like there is real fear. And as we get older, I think that fear becomes much bigger. Yeah. That's why everybody like, starts to hide their jewelry and shit when they get past like 80 they're like I'm gonna put it in the walls yeah my husband always says like people's lives get small so yes. like little things start to feel really big I was given a compliment one time that I thought was the worst thing I'd ever heard two things the first one is the thing that hurt my feelings somebody said to me Larry god damn it that's the first thing it, okay he pointed out that I had a mustache when okay. I was that's very young and at the pool rude. and it was a lot of sunshine and I had Dark hair on my lip. Let's not in my pits and not in my hoo Let's look that guy up on Facebook. See how great he's doing right well, now. Well, he's still pretty handsome. Well, I, good for you. Well, fine. He was. He, yeah, he was just being a fourteen year old, you know, dude that yeah. said like, "Why do you have a mustache?" We're off point. Totally. The, the one that hurt my feelings is I remember I was in my young twenties and somebody said to me, "I." They said something in the the vein of, "I feel like." you're going to hit your stride in your 40s. And I was, that's a very strange thing to say to somebody. And I was like, either that was that I was highly immature, correct, or that I was sort of figuring myself out, totally true, or that I, I, or on some level, it's kind of the best thing you could hear is like, 
that I was going to like kind of grow into myself a little bit. Yeah. It was a very strange compliment. I know that person didn't mean to hurt my feelings, but they did. But then now I think about that and I'm like, that's kind of the greatest. I remember yeah. it and I go, okay, so I, I'm not out of this game. No. I'm, not, I'm only, and like you said, I just don't give a shit anymore. So yeah. now I have like this unveiled confidence that's like, I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. I don't I'm have gonna, time to deal with it. I, yeah. And no concern to yeah. deal with it. I, I, I read I'm going to play the guitar like an asshole until I sound good. Women are the happiest and most confident in their 40s. Yeah. Which I totally believe. It's funny because when I was about mm, 26 or 27, so just a couple weeks ago. Tell, yeah. Yeah. Four, three years ago at yeah. least. My friend Mandy, who I would say knows me best, you you and she yeah. know me the best, when I was in LA, I was having a phone call conversation. I still remember where I was driving to yeah. on, on my big, huge bag phone. Oh, you know, my no. Did my you have phone. one of those? No, no, no. It was because that's hilarious. It was. Uh, it was probably a BlackBerry. The only person I know with, knew with one of those was when uh, they were a funeral director. I don't know why a funeral guy has to have one of those, but I thought it was amazing. Mer- I don't know. And it uh, cost like eighteen dollars. I did a have a car with a car phone, but I was like, I don't have fourteen bucks a month to pay yeah, this. Who has that? No. Okay, so you're in your okay. car. You're with your and BlackBerry. She, she, Mandy said, because I was telling her like, I do want to get married and have kids, and like at this point, so many of my friends. I know in it. The Midwest, 26 in Nebraska. That is feels like they that were married ship and they has had sailed. Kids. Yeah, and uh, she said. I don't know if you know what you want out of life more than anyone I've ever met or if you don't know what you want more than anyone I've ever met. Oh, my God. And I really, you know. That would mess me up. I'd be like, what does that mean? I mean, she doesn't just randomly say shit. She's like a thoughtful person. And I was like, huh. She was saying, go to LA. I think I know what I want more than anyone else. And like now, this many years later, I, d- I, d- I wanted the best of both worlds. I wanted to have a family and I wanted to like have my fun and do comedy and stuff like that. And I got it. Yeah. I just had to like. Wait it out. I had to risk and like yeah. do it. And if you haven't done that in your life yet and you're starting, like your kids are teenagers and you got more do time it. on your hands. God darn, do it. You have more to offer not, the world. It's not pioneer days. We're no. not dying when we're 40. We're like... Yeah, we're getting started. Yeah. And you know what? Now you'll go to the pool and you'll wear whatever swimsuit you want because who cares? You're, and yeah. you're going to go into a, a workout class and you're not going to be the best at it and you won't care. You'll laugh. Like, yeah. it's, it, you're going to enjoy these risks more now because you're, you've experienced failure on some level. It doesn't kill us. It doesn't kill us. Yeah. There is nothing that feels worse than failing on stage and yet you can, yeah you it still doesn't kill you it still doesn't kill you you're like huh that i i uh that was the most painful experience and yet i'm okay so like, back to the caveman days yes please when you are our fear of public speaking our fear of like being on stage being judged whatever is fear that like you'll be ostracized from your group that Wait, so there was stand-up comedy in the caveman days and they were like, your hot five is awful. Literally yeah. a saber tooth tiger. That's what tiger I always mean. Kill you. That's what I mean to tell you is that you're going to come <laughs> you're going to come into your own at 40 but, BC. But, like, oh, good. Yeah. Okay. I like, didn't know what you were doing there. You were 40,000 years ago is when you were down <laughs> some numbers that I was like, what you playing fast and loose, Smedley? Pa- playing no, fast and I'm loose. I'm not going to give away your age. I'm in my 37 is 37 is a perfectly respectable age. Um, but oh, fuck, what was I saying? You were saying caveman days. Back to the oh, caveman days. It, the, you're, the, you're scared of uh, taking a risk that's like outside of what everybody uh-huh. else is doing. Because in your head, it's like, I'm going to be ostracized from the group. And, and that means you die. You get killed by a tiger. I'm just a big beacon for everybody to get eaten <laughs> by something. They're like, she's got to go. She's got to go. <laughs> She's got to go. If there were a horror movie and we yeah. are hiding from First vampires, Kristen would go like, and I'll be like, I'm nervous, you guys. I'm nervous. My, yeah. oh, my, my spastic bowel is happening. Whoosh, they'd kill me. You got you to gotta fight that caveman instinct. Lee. You're going to be able to like put together a fire with two stones because you saw a YouTube tutorial on it. Yeah. Kristen You're like, might fart, but she also has a wooden stake in her back That's to right. kill a vampire Don't with. even, don't even. I do, because I learned to whittle. That's yeah. my next step. 
That's my next step. But I will say like, okay, so I got to pick up the guitar, which is really fun. And I, I do, I like music. I've been around music, but I was always intimidated. But now because we're doing it in the show, I have a goal and I have a She's reason. Good at it. And I love it. I'm obsessed. But it is interesting because I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, my hands won't do what they're supposed to do. My, my brain and my hands. But I don't think that's age. It's just inexperience. But here's what I do know. Because I am older and I'm into it and I like goals, I know how I learn. So yeah. like, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to learn from a, from a chords chart. Like that's all great and I should have it. You know, like a, yeah. like a theory. I'm going to le- learn the same way my kids learn, which is like play it for me. Let me get inspired. Let me hear it. Let me try it back. Yeah. And then apply that to actual chords and whatnot. Like break it down. I'm a backwards learner. I've always been. I see everything big picture and then you break it down for me as ah. opposed to systematically going from A to B to C to D and yeah, E. Yeah, that's me. Oh you're, a, you're a backwards learner. You're I all, am? Well... Because I feel like I need to read about it, write a short dissertation. I think you're probably a little bit of both. That's why you picked up editing so fast, which is a skill unto itself. Like it, nobody, oh my God, editing is so hard. And Jen was like, I'll just learn it on a YouTube tutorial real quick. And I tried, I was like, well, if she can do it, I can do it, right? And then I tried it and I was like, I'll do the business part, okay? In our, in our, partnership it's not, can you please? can't do it it's like it's a tedious thing yeah you it's don't like very the hard i don't like yeah. tedium but that's what's important is at a certain age you've known yourself and like whether you're a mom that's been like you know staying at home with the kids you've learned shit along the way or you're working in a career job and you're like i want to try something new you've got those skills you've yeah. assi- you've you've learned them whether whether you want to or not so like when you talk about like taking a chance and we're not pioneer women, it's so true because like you're going to do more than you ever thought you could simply because you've got, you know yourself better. Yeah. So you're not a 21 year old. And if you are, God bless you. And you, God, just go get in a bikini and be done with it already. Like yeah. stop thinking well, you, you don't, don't need look to know good. anything. Yeah. You don't need to know anything. And I'm gonna, I want to put your blood in a vial and drink it and if that was a thing that would take off some years, every 21-year-old needs to watch out. Hold on. I'm going to make sure I don't have a stake in my bag right Hold now. Hold on, you guys. Jen is, Jen's worried about her, her safety right now because she's oh, only yeah, 21. Oh, yeah, because I'm so young, you she's guys. She's only 21. Uh, I would, though, if someone had, if that was No, a I would steal somebody's youth. I don't care. Yeah, I, I would be like, if you could like, above that. do witchery and like just drive by. I wouldn't take all of it, but I would take, I'd be like, you're going to waste these next eight years. Let me have them. Yeah. You know what? I wasted definitely eight <sighs> years. If I could, if I oh, could God. turn back, down. I think maybe that's what I'm doing because I'm so mad at myself. If you could go back, it's youth is wasted on the young. young. That's what it means. But what would be one major thing that you would tell? You would just do different. If you could do a redo, what would you do differently? Oh, you know I'm gonna get way too. Oh God, no! no. Are you gonna go emotional? Uh, emotional? No, but I do feel like, no, I just wish I would have like told my younger self that I was perfect the way I was. Yes. And then lived life from that, not feeling like I needed to be better or different or impress somebody. Man, isn't that the weirdest, like, like, what do you call that? Not an oxymoron, um, a dichotomy where you are young and you're as not as good as you're going to get, but you're as energetic and healthy yeah. and as you're going to be, yet you have no confidence. So then you get that confidence when you're in your forties and you're, you would give anything to like throw some of that back to like when you're 25, yeah. you're like, Hey, be, be future you. I hope if anybody is yeah. young and hot and listening to this, that they're like, I don't, I don't feel good about, I, this guy didn't text me. My feelings are hurt. I'd be, oh I'd be like, God. get a little fuck you in you, sister. And like, Heck yeah. don't deal with that guy anymore. Like you deserve so much. Treat yourself like you're a queen. Yeah. I still don't get that. I'm never going to get that. I'm never going to, I'm never going to understand the why women at a certain age are like, I'm into this guy cause he's not into me. Like, I just want to like shake slap em. them and yeah. be like, listen, like we're too, man. you don't have to do that. Yeah. You can have someone who's into you and it feels better yeah if you heard my husband earlier on this podcast is so into me he's that it's glowing uh this this is what you get somebody says i'd rather be alone (laughs) it's well that's the other well we met our husbands when we're older and i tell you what my husband would like 
lay down his life for anything yep. I ever wanted. Yeah, like, he, he helps really us would. all the time. And like, so does my husband. He just has an attitude about it. It's fine. Yeah, uh, I'm not saying mine's free and nobody's clear. Per- it's saying. not free There's no free As I drink some more wine. Yeah, more wine, more wine. Uh, I Wait, what was I going to say? Oh, so we, I, oh, yeah, mine. I think what my thing is, I could go back to my younger self. I would say, like, this is so specific. Join a hiking group. Oh, Jesus. I didn't know I was going there. Yeah. Well, okay. Wait, join a hiking Why? group. You just like the boots. I love the boots. That's, you like the They're boots? They're so like comfortable the and okay. they look good on my on my legs. It's like I'm unstoppable in that attire. Yeah. Um, I want to go on a hiking trail, like a legitimate one. Like I want to go like where there's like 15 days like in the, the wilderness. Pacific. Coast trail. Yeah. Yeah. I want that. But then I want like eight hot guys that all want to get with me. I want it to be like a romantic. Not, anyway, we're going off. Okay. I that's what I, and I would tell myself like, like, go have some experiences. Don't just focus on being in LA and working. And like, I was so scared that I was gonna like fail and have to move home that I didn't let myself do a lot of things that I think I would just really like to do that make you a better person and make yeah. you a, have a fuller experience. And I just think I was just drunk too much. And I was... Well, there's something that, to be said for... But I don't take that back because I think those are formative years, like when you're living in shame. But I do think uh, I would go back and say like, hey, you can have a good time and do this, have these other goals. Like... Yeah. Be be diverse as a person. And I didn't know that. I and I'm so regretful because I'm sure there would have been so many hot guys on that tri that trail. Yeah. Just think if I would have like I, like hooked up with I a hot hiker. Uh, well, yeah. You could yeah. You know I would It would've. wasn't a sure thing. You would have probably you know what? I think you would have hooked up with any hiker. I think that's true. Probably when you would have been there, feeling the really, moment and yeah. it might not have mattered. Yeah, you're right. But I don't want to like... I would have been the easiest. There's not... I think about this all the time. Like, I am a person that should have a lot of regrets. And for whatever reason, 10 years ago, I was feeling them full, like not I sleeping know, at same, night kind of deal. Same. I tell you what, now, I don't give a shit. Like, come at me. I, you know, I think it's because I don't remember most of them. Well, I'm there's like, that too. Did I sleep with that guy or did I? think I? I know what one of the big differences, not to bring the mood down a little bit, but when my dad died, he was almost 80. And that guy didn't want to go... Because he was still having a really good time. He yeah. was like, I still feel like I'm so young. I know. You know? Oh my God, this is a scary, I can't. Jim. And that's this in me. Like, no, that's in me. Uh, Look. This is like, it freak me out. That's, I know. But I, I've always, Nightmare. even before that, even before that though, I've had, I love that saying that you should die trying. It doesn't mean that you should like, like try to become, yeah. It's you, that you die I'm gonna, trying. I'm going to be an idiot and be a, a bull rider. Yeah. It means if you have not done all the stuff that you want do to it. do when you are 95, die learning to ride a horse, yeah. like be on that horse when you kick over and die. That's and what that, I hope. That's, that's where we're at. Yeah. Like do that. Like don't look back. Who cares? You Who can't cares? do anything about it. Yeah, I don't know what stops. Sometimes I feel like I've talked to people who I feel like are, I, I, I'm like, man, you've got so much potential. You've got so much to do. And potential is a terrible word. What I'm saying is like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if yeah. you try something and you're terrible at it. Like if you yeah. go take a painting class and your painting is awful, first of all, it's all subjective, yeah. really, based on the eye of the beholder. True. But if you've got a crappy painting, who cares? Yeah. I promise the experience was so fun. You know what? And you're cooler because you took a painting class. That's right. Because you know what's better than skill? Blind confidence. Blind confidence. I say that yeah. all the time. So I have, lie to yourself about whatever absolutely. you need. Yeah. I, and buy all the shit. It makes you feel cool. I'll tell you, I have state school education in, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's it called? When you go to a fancy school? Yeah, Ivy schools, League. Ivy, Ivy League, League confidence. Well, that's uh, so that brings us to our next podcast topic that you'll have to listen to next week, which is we're going to get thong bikinis. That's it. Do, I, do we have a mom box? Oh, well, we have we have a hot flash. Oh, we have a hot flash. Hot flash. Hot flash. Hot flash. You, you, I'm going to show you this. Uh, magazine and you're going to shit your pants because it goes through all the restaurants that like are like buy them. I feel like you shit your pants. No, because uh, I do need to shit my pants, honestly. Okay. Okay. So this is um, a hint about what's coming up next month and it's a full cover, full color one when Holy he's on the cover. Holy moly. That's my father-in-law when he was like, 
Oh my god, he's so hot. <laughs> it's so uncomfortable. How it's, old it's, is he there? Well, it's 43. He's 40. It's 43 years ago. Doesn't 43 then look so different than 43 now? Yeah. Like a little bit? Like, well, because he's the hair gray. too. He's gray. He's gray yeah. but, but he he's looks the, like a gray Burt Reynolds. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Like if Burt Reynolds ran 100 miles a week. Like he is he, fit as a fiddle. What's so, up? Ken is our hot Hi, flash. Ken. Leo. Hot he's also a Leo. And he is a guy who, uh, he's been writing books for as long as he's been running. And he has a book that's getting published. He has books that have been published. But he's starting another book and he is 83. What did you find? How weird is this? What? Oh my gosh. You guys, on the opposite page, there's a story about a guy named Jeff Hensley. How weird is that? Do you want to know how often I see the name Hensley? Never. That's... Never. Means you guys are meant to be together. I mean... If Ken wants to invite me to something and I could meet some of my waspy East Coast, I never thought they would make it to the East Coast. Is there a chance? Is there a chance that my my people have gone over that far? Can That's I t- amazing. There's also a list of who's going to be at that. Remember well, this that? is 20. This is old. I, I, I missed the party. Was I, I know. Even well, let's look up Jeff Geoff. Geoff. He's got to be on Facebook. Way. But I was going to show you where the, uh, they have a list of who's coming up at the uh, Terrytown Theater, which we performed. And- <laughs> my mom's name is Terry. Well, we performed What's at the Terry Town Theater. Know, it was really fun. Yeah, it was it's amazing. It's one of my favorite spaces. It's like a little, it's like, old it's like one of the oh oldest God. theaters we've ever performed in, I believe, because it was, it used to be a church. Oh, didn't yeah. It? Yeah. Yeah. And it's right, it was right down the street, but oh, you got to look at this such magazine. such a great it's little the, neighborhood. I would live there in a heartbeat. It is just trippy. It's so hilarious. But anyways, Ken, Ken McAdams, still right. He just started a new book. So keep, God keep doing him. it. No, none of us are getting old. We're just getting Ken, I'll call hotter. you. I'll call you. What's up, TBD? I think we podcasted. We did. Bye. Bye.